The Palma area in Mozambique has been a base for militant group of Al-Shabaab for the past seven months. The arrival of Rwandan forces in August 2021, however, has brought relative security to the area, enabling most people to return home. But only last week, the UN warned that the conflict has not subsided. The Rwandan forces displayed confidence in a still precarious security situation in the rich oil region. Uh, the only incidences we get are isolated incidences of one mm, attack here and there, but very few people. It's not really a, a main uh, stronghold like the way it was in Mosimbo and Depra. Anyway, so we can say to a large extent that uh, the um, insurgent has been uh, defeated. Mozambique security forces are ill trained and equipped compared to their Rwandan colleagues and they are little trusted by locals. Uh, the next phase will be to try and see if the security sector can be reformed to such a point that they will be able, they will be poised to uh, deal with security uh, after the departure of uh, the Rwanda security force. A year on, Kam has returned to the area and so have most of the Kiyunga inhabitants. Rwandan troops have secured the key districts of Palma and Musimbua Praia, formerly jihadist strongholds. Well, right now things are a little bit more controlled. I would say things are improved. Yeah, if we compare to the moments that uh, uh, the situation took place, the attack, to now, I would say things are, are better now. Because people can move, we can do everything, we can go to school, we can buy whatever we want. So things, things are okay now, I would say that. The conflict has now spilled into the neighboring province of Nampunla, which witnessed four attacks by armed groups in September, affecting at least 47,000 people and displacing 12,000, according to the UN, last week.